kind of how you navigated expectation emotions like you're still playing you're still competing at Stanford and playing you get drafted you guys are are still you know even most of the time guys are still playing after they get drafted and you're kind of you still got you got finals you know everybody forgets that that you know you're an, a student as well as an athlete talk yeah. about just like navigating that process in terms of all this stuff on your plate as you as you're making these decisions yeah um man that was that was a, a strange year uh draft year you know i i had i had, had a really good junior year and set myself up to be drafted pretty high um and then there's the first first year of the new draft rules and um you know kind of some unexpected things happen in the draft and and um and so i was like in the middle like from my own perspective i'm ecstatic about trying to play pro ball ecstatic that i'm drafted in the first round uh i'm also in the middle of you know we have we're getting ready to go to play Florida state in the super regionals. We have, um, you know, finals that same weekend. And so, so I'm like, all of this stuff is coming at me all at once. And, and that's a lot for, you know, a, a 20 year old kid who's, you know, still figuring out, you know, life and how, how to do things and hasn't really been in the real world. Um, so yeah, life's kind of came at me pretty quick, um, there for a little bit. Um, but, I mean, I'm, I'm really grateful for that opportunity. Like, I feel like it really helped me, you know, make some, some like hard decisions and to learn how to live with the consequences of making a decision and, and trying to make the most of the decisions, knowing that like, you're never going to be able to do something perfectly, you know, so, and there's pros and cons and all of this other stuff. But as long as you have peace about the decision that you make and, and you don't complain about the consequences then it's like, go, go make the decision you want to make. Um, I always believed when that went hap- you know, when that went down with you, I, I always knew just knowing you even the little bit was you had a lot of belief in yourself. And I yeah. think that's a lot of times, you know, that we, and th- look, this is as life lesson as it gets, right? I mean, I've started multiple businesses and I can tell you that like I start a business with an idea and it's difficult to sleep at night because you're kind of sitting there second guessing yourself and these, these decisions that you make in life, you have to live with. But at the end of the day, you're just literally being like, no, man, like you are doing what's right. You can do this. And I just believe that was probably a lot of what went through your head in that whole process. Yeah. And, and honestly, you know, I, faith has been a huge part of my life. And so, you know, I kind of see things a little bit differently. Like money's obviously incredibly important for, you know, for everyone to get through life and all that stuff. But, um, it's like, I, I cared more, I care more about like relationships, about developing skills, about education, things like that. So like, cause I'm like, if you have those things, it's like, it's going to be easier to provide for yourself later in life. And so I, I saw, I put a really high value on being back for my senior year. Um, knowing that like professional baseball would still be there. Um, and so, yeah, it was, it was, it was kind of a strange situation. A lot of unexpected things happened. And then I made a decision based on kind of whatever was presented to me and, and stuck with it. Um, and, you know, I knew that like, all I wanted to do was get better. Um, I've always, I've always believed that like the more we just stay in our lanes, focus on our roles and try to increase our skills, develop ourselves as baseball players, like then good things will happen. Like we'll be able to figure out where we go. But a lot of times we focus on the peripherals. We focus on comparing ourselves with other guys in our class or, or whatever it may be. And that removes our focus from like actually getting work done and developing yourself as a better player, you know? And, um, and so that's, that was my focus. I'm like, well, I was like, I don't really care where I am next year. It's like, I could be in the pirates organization or I could be back at Stanford and my goal is the same. It's just to try to keep getting better. And ultimately, I just decided I wanted to keep getting better at Stanford um, for a lot of reasons. Finishing my degree, being being a you know a team captain, be, having influence on the Stanford team, um, having another chance to go to Omaha. I mean, that was a that was a big deal. Like, if you haven't played college baseball, you're not a big school. Um, it's like you probably won't get how how much fun it would be to go to Omaha. Um, and all the guys that did get to go to Omaha, like it's one of those moments that you're like, I'm going to 
take this with me for the rest of my life. You know, it's a big deal. And so I wanted to have another chance. And even though we didn't do it, I don't regret having that, that last chance to try to get to Omaha.